say to this maidservant, For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly theotokos, you do we magnify. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imaginations of their hearts, greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory.
Αστής εσύ επιστάντες, ζητών ζωντά μετά των νεκρών ζητείτε, έλεγον, η γέρτη ως πρωί παιδί ανυμνείτε των ρημάτων αυτού, εις πεστήσε τα ορεθέντα εκήρυτων, αλλά εδώ κινήρωστε αυαγγένια, ούτως εις ανετινωθείς. Οι μαθητέ άλλο Πέτρος έδραμε, και ειδών εδόξα σε σου, προς εαυτόν τα θαμάσια. Και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, Υπερευλογημένη υπάρχεις εωτό και παρθένε, διαβά του εξουσάρ ποθέντος, ο άδης ηχμαλώτησε, ο θάνατος εθανάτεται, η εγώ ηλευθέρωτε και η νύσσε ζωπίδημε. Ιωάννη είναι ουνευγόμεν, ευλογητός Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, ο ούτως ευλογής σας δόξα σύ. Δόξα σύ το δίξαντι το φως, δόξα ενηψίς τη Θεό, Yeah, bro, set 
the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Priesthood, the Deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
for the holy and great church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them. Let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and with all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For, you, Lord. For to you belong our glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever into the ages of ages. Everything that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, save The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Andi la voi so son e lei son che vi ha filac son i mai so feos di si chariti. Dis panagia so grandu e per evlogi meni se noxu de spini si monte o toiku che i parfenu marias meta pando donagia mi mones andes e aftus che ani lois che pansan din zo ini mon. Christo to Theo para to metai. O diso to Kratos que sua estini vacilia que dinamis, que idox tu patros que tu iu, que tu agiu pneumatos, nin que aí que isto se onas to neonon. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Blessed is he whose hope is from the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rules from the to sing to you, Hallelujah. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. So, so we must see a peru, O Anastas, a necron, Salon, da si,
you to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and with all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are good God who loves mankind, and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Και οι φιλάσσοντες απενεκρότησαν και ίστα το Μαρία εν το τάφο ζητούσα το άχαντον σου σώμα. Σκύλεψαν στον Άδη, μη πειραστείς υπ' αυτού η πίνδυσα στη Παρθένο δωρούμενο στην ζωή ο Αναστάς εκ των νεκρών Κύριε δόξα εσύ. Rise, come let us worship and bow down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who arose from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. as befits a priest. You drew out from the chosen vessel the secrets of God, and having kept the faith, you have finished the fair race. O hero, martyr Dionysius, intercede with Christ our God, entreating him to save our souls.
Let us pray to the Lord. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Sofia. Pros Corinthios epistolis Pablo to anagnosma. Pros comen. Adelphi, o theos o ipon, ex scotus fos lampse o elamsen en das cardias Simon pros fotis mons tis gnosios tis doxis to theou en prosopo Christou. Echo me det on tis avron tuton en electronikis skefesen ina ye pervolit on dinamios i to theou ke mi ex Simon and Pandit Livomeni, a loose senohorumeni, a porumeni, exalu exaporumeni, biocomeni, a luk exadalipomeni, catalavomeni, a cu apolinome, pando de necrosi to isu, and to somati periferondes, in a cazoi to isu, and to somati mon panerothi. A igar, imisi zondes is thanaton. Παραδιδόμεθα τον Ιησούν είναι και η ζωή του Ιησού φανερωθεί εν τη θνητής σαρκή ημών. Ώστε ο Θεός εν ημίν ενεργεί, η δε ζωή εν ημίν. Έχοντας δε το αυτό πνεύμα της πίστεως κατά των γεγραμμένων. Επίστευσα, διό ελάλησα και ημίς πιστόβαινοι, διό και λαλούμεν, ειδότες ότι ο γύρας των Κύριων Ιησούν και ημάς των Ιησούν εγερεί και παραστήσει συν ημίν. Το γάρ πάντα 
διημάς ή να ηχάρεις πλεονάσασα δια των κλειώνων την ευχαριστία περισσέψη εις την δόξα του Θεού. Let us be attentive. O Lord, save your people, bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I cry, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul, second letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, this is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts, give us the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show the transition power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body of the death of Jesus so that the life of J Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you, since we have the same spirit of faith as we have who wrote, I believe, and so I spoke, we too believe, and so we speak, knowing that he raised the Lord Jesus, will raise us also with Jesus, and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all of your sake, so that the grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Peace be unto you, the readers. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto you all. Ectu Catalucana, you Evangelio to Anagnos, ma proscomen. Ipen o Kyrios, kathos telete in apios in imin i antropi, ki imis pite aptis omios, ki agapate tus agapontes imas, pia imin charis estin, ki agari amartoni tus agapontes aptus igaposi, ki an agapitite, ki agapiundas imas, pia imin charis estin, και γάρι αμαρτωνή το αυτό ποιούσι και αν δεν ήζητε παρόν ελπίζετε απολαβήν ποια ημίν χάρις εστί και γάρι αμαρτωλή αμαρτωλής δεν ήζουσιν ή να απολαύσει τα ίσα πλην αγαπάτε τους εχθρούς ημών και αγαθοποιείτε και δινιζείτε μηδέν απεμπιλωζόντες και έστε οι μισθούς ημών πολλής και έσαι στενή του υψίστου ότι αυτός Χριστός έστει επί του αχαρίστους και πονηρούς δίνεστε ούν ικτήρμονες καθώς και ο πατήρ ημών the reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. The Lord said, as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. 
but love your enemies and do good and lend and expect nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Please be seated, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, good morning. Today's a beautiful day to be together, and I thank you all for being here. We hear today a very important lesson, and of course it comes with something that we would think is a, a common sense type behavior. But last week, and I'll foreshadow what I'm going to say today with what I said last week in summary, we were talking about evangelizing. We were talking about how we show people God. And we hear in the Gospel of John and in his universal letters, we hear of him exclaiming that God is love. And we hear about love today, multiple times actually for that matter. And last week we spoke about the bare minimum to evangelize is to share with people love our love for God, our love for whatever it might be, but most importantly, our love for them, and in the general sense, a love for humanity. And ironically enough, as I, as I think about and reflect on and write what I am going to say on the days like this where I give sermons, sometimes there's questions and interactions that I have with people that completely, I, not to say move my focus or distract me, but they really bring to light something that we as a community, for the sake of our spirituality, comes to light. So as I spoke last week about love, throughout the week came multiple questions. Everything from how do you love? On a very simple term. How do you love those who give nothing in return? How do you love your enemies? Because remember, last week I gave homework. Last week I said, you have to show and express love to someone that, one, you love, someone that you might know on an acquaintance level, and someone who is a complete stranger. And the hardest of all those four things was to sh share love to somebody whom has done something wrong against you, someone who you might see as an enemy, and express love to them. So, without even knowing, in a sense, what was to come, today we're given this gospel lesson. See, God works in mysterious ways. As you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. People, in their initial thought, says, well, I'm going to do whatever people do to me. That's not what it says. That's not what it says at all, actually. <laughs> it's completely the opposite. It's do what you want from them to be done to you. So do what you expect without expecting that they're going to do that to you. How you want to be treated, how you want to be loved, how you want to be cared for, given mercy, compassion, you do to them. It doesn't say only if they do that to you. That's our mindset. That's where our mind and our humanity breaks what the gospel is teaching us today. And it allows for somehow in this message to confuse what needs to be done versus to what we expect. You get no credit for showing love to people who love you. It's nice. It's opposite of the worst. Have the ability to do that. And when you give something to somebody, you don't do it as a transaction thinking that you are going to receive something in turn. Because that's easy. Even sinners can do that. Even the worst of the worst can do that. So you get no credit. Maybe a pat on the back. How about that? A pat on the back from Jesus. But if you want to grow in your spirituality, it's not going to be by doing things that are easy that anyone can do. 
It is, as we hear, about showing love. And showing love in not a transactional way. And we use the word unconditional love to express the love that God shows the world. But it also needs to be the way that we express how we show love as Christians. How we show love as people of God's creation. Because we are to love unconditionally. That doesn't mean to a great extent. That means without any condition. The word. You look at someone whom you might know and you love them. For example, family members. We love each other because we're family members. They drive us crazy, but we still love them. And we know we're going to love them because there is a biological bond that unites us. Now think of friends. Your fellow parishioners are St. Stephano's family. It's easy to love someone within this community. Sometimes we want to choke each other, just like how we want to choke some family members. But that's why I call us a St. Stephano's family, because we drive each other crazy, but we love each other. And it's easy to show that. It's easy to show that love and compassion and mercy. And you see it when sacraments happen, when people are getting married or baptized, or you see it at funerals and the community comes together to support one another. You see this love that exists within our community. The joy that comes to your guys' hearts when you see each other on Sundays or at ministry events. It's truly a beautiful thing. But not to detract from that, that's easy. You're loving someone who shows some level of unity with you. You are not strangers. If you feel like you are a stranger, then we have some work to do. But that's easy because this parish, these four walls and the fellowship hall and the education building, all these things, this place unites us as Christians as family members, as maybe Kumbadi and sponsors of sacraments, we are united and relationships exist here. This is easy. But if someone were to come and egg the church, for example, and spray paint some type of obscenity, I'm not saying that's ever happened. What I'm saying is if someone who did something wrong against the church, what do we do? We don't go for the throat. We take care of our church, and we should be inviting them to come to our church. Obviously, they wanted to come on our property, so something intrigued them enough to come here. Maybe it was some, some obviously some shenanigans, but hey, they came once, they can obviously come here twice. And we show them love, and we show them the love of God. And their life, through that experience of unconditional love, can be transformed. So we think about loving our enemies and people who might have done something wrong against us. That's why it's important to forgive. Because you waiting for someone who's done something wrong against you, well, you better be patient because you're going to keep waiting. But if you go to that person and you show them love, even though they have done something wrong against you, their minds get confused. I just said something wrong against this person, and this person is showing me love. Did they not hear what I said? Did they not get what I said? There are times where people offend us, and we share kindness back to them. And it blows their minds, because that's not the natural, normal reaction in today's world. But we're given that moment to take this gospel lesson into practice. We are given moments like that where people are going to do wrong, say wrong things who might hurt us and we get to express love to them. And when we express our love, we are to not get credit in return. It is irrelevant what is reciprocated. Nowhere in here does it say only express love if someone does, brings love to you or if someone does something good for you. It is not a transaction. And in today's world, that is one of the unfortunate realities that have come and grown to become a normal behavior. 
I will only do this if this person does that. Or if this person does that, I will do this. That's not how love works. So when I'm asked the question, how do you love, it is, one, not transactional. I need you to ingrain this into your heads. Love is not transactional. You ready? It's going to be a mantra. So that I'm going to say it, and then you guys are going to say it. Love is not transactional. Love is not transactional. Bravo, you're listening. Wonderful, wonderful. Because it's true. It is not transactional. If you are waiting for other people's good behavior to show them love, what does that reinforce? You loving them is not going to give them a treat to be nice again. You giving them love is going to transform their behavior so that they know, I need to love more. I need to do something to pay attention to this human being and listen to them. If a friend comes to you and they ask you for guidance and this and that, they're coming to you not so that you can talk to them only, but for you to be able to listen, to hear them, to hear what they are struggling with so that you can then support them. That's love. It is about when you think of the word, the Greek word of agapo, and there's many different words for love, and this is where I'll get into the second part of the answer. When you look at the word agapo, it is meaning that you are putting an emphasis on something or someone else that totally negates what your needs are. You are putting full focus on the betterment and care, compassion, mercy, love, for that person, to strengthen them, to build them, that is love. There's another word in Greek, latrevo, which means like crazy in love. Like how maybe a husband might love their wife and family and so on, but most importantly, how we describe our love for God. We are to be crazy in love with God. Because the love that we are given by God. The love that we see Christ show the world in humanity. The sacrifice that was made upon the cross. He didn't do that because there were Christians around. They weren't Christians. So, he didn't do that for them. He showed grace, as we hear in this gospel, to not just the ungrateful and the selfish. I'll tell you what those words are. The acharistus keponirus. The people who have no grace, literally, no grace, and the people who are evil, he showed love to. We made the, the English a little lighter, so it's not as, uh, I guess, traumatic. But Christ came to the world to show love to the people who have no grace and to people who are evil, sinful. We can do the same. Actually, we can do just a, a peon's worth of that same love. And we will become better Christians. We will become better people who express love. And we will be good stewards of our behaviors in our relationship with God. And most importantly, his creation. So that's love. It's love that is not transactional. It is love that exceeds any other, I guess you could say, emotion or behavior within our lives. And it is something that we should have Zero desire to receive something in return. So just because you say you love someone doesn't mean they are obedient to you or that they might not make you mad or whatever it is. You love them anyways. And love conquers all things as we hear scripturally. Amen. That ever guided by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever into the ages of ages.
no one bound by carnal desires or pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near to minister to you, the King of glory, for to serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. Yet because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for mankind, you impassively and immutably became man. You, the master of all, became our high priest and delivered unto us the sacred service of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, we alone reign over the celestial and the terrestrial. Born aloft from the cherubic throne, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel, the only one among your holy ones, I now beseech you who alone are good and inclined to hear, look down upon me, your sinful and unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul and heart of a wicked conscience and enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, clothed with the grace of the priesthood, to stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy pure body and your precious blood. I come before you with my head down and pray. I implore to you, turn your face not away from me nor reject me from among your children, but make me your unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts. For you are the one who both offers and is offered, the one who is received and distributed of Christ our God. And to you we give up glory together with your fathers in the beginning, and your all holy good and life creating spirit, both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who we mystically represent the Trinity, we sing the thrice holy hymn of the life creating Trinity. Now lay aside all worldly care so that we may receive the King of all, who is invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For those who love us and for those who hate us, please forgive us. Πάντοτε 
May the Lord God remember all of us in His kingdom, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel, a peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian and to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and with all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, both now and forever and through the ages of ages. Irini Pasi, peace be unto you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another so that in one mind we may confess. I will love you, O Lord, my rock, my deliverer, my strength, my foundation. The doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence of the Father, through whom all things are made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified by the 
he suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess my baptism for the remission of sins, I hope for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and it is right. Ton epinikion imnon avunda vota kreka gota kele gondain. Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Tuto esti to ema mu, to tis kenisti afikis, to iperimon ke polon e hinomenon isafesin amation. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, the saving commandment, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and second glory is coming again. Your own of your own we offer to you in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We beseech, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and save me. May God be gracious to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 
also that day may be for those who partake of the vigilance of soul remission of sins, communion of the Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer to you this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always now, forever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop elect all the people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify, praise your most honorable, majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God, Savior Jesus Christ, be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our God who loves mankind, having set them as holy, celestial, mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return sit down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray that the, having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Και κατ' αξίως των ημάς δέσποτα μετά παρησίασε κατά κρήτος των μάνι πικαλίστεσε τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγειν Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, όσον ουρανώ και επί της γης, τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσει μην σήμερον, και άφησει μην τα φελή με τα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμε τους οφελέτες ημών, και εμείς ενέγγεις ημάς εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσ' ημάς από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto you all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
together with your all holy good and life creating spirit both now and forever and through the ages of ages. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is a portion and distributed a portion, not divided, ever eaten, and never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake. Blessed is the fervor of your saints, always on forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The fervor of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God be gracious to me, a sinner, and save me. My brothers, please forgive me, the unworthy priest. My brothers and sisters, please forgive me, the unworthy priest. Behold, as I approach Christ, our mortal human God, to receive the pure body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, which is given unto me, some son, Thaddeus, the unworthy priest, for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Onward, the priest, for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Touch my lips and is what dwell my sins and transgressions. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Servant of God, receive the body and prepare the
confess unto you. Σου και ευλογήσουν την κληρονομία σου. Save, O Lord, your people and bless your inheritance. to the ages of ages. Let us not be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. You have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal life, creating awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever into the ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church and sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. 
Glorify them in return by your divine power and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all of your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the God, you have fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You fulfilled the Father's entire plan for salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, always, now, and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Tono matirio, iria glorimenon, apotumi, keos tue. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. The choirs of the saints have found the, have found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the lost sheep, O Savior, call me back and save me. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. For to so gracious lady who gave birth to God in the flesh for the salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation, through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 voix as you Theos. Alleluia, 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 voix as you Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you. Among the spirits of the righteous, perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants, keeping them in the blessed life which is from you, O lover of mankind. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are God who descended into Hades, and loosened the pains of those who were held captive. Grant rest also, Savior, to the souls of your servants. Amen. 
Η μόνη αγνή και άγραντα παθαίνω. Στη θεώνα πράστα σκίσασα. Πε βεβέ, η πέτα σου αφήνει τα ψυχά στον δούλο σου. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the departed servants of God. Maria, Michael, Caralambus, Laura, Jesus Christos, Nugia, Michael, Evgenia, Athena, Pandelis, Panayotis, Theodosias, Antonis, Theophilus, Kiriakou, Kiriakis, Christophis, Nicolau Angelikis, who have fallen asleep for the forgiveness of all of their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. May the Lord God grant their souls rest where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercy of God, the kingdom of heaven, and for the forgiveness of, his, of their sins from Christ our mortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil, granting life to your world. Give rest to the souls of your departed servants of God. Mary, Michael, Caralamos, Laura, Lizos, Christos, Nugia, Michael, Evgenias, Athenas, Panolas, Paniotis, Theodosias, Andonis, Theophilos, Hiriakis, Chrysophis, Nicolau, and Agelikis, who have fallen asleep, O Christ, or God, in a place, in, have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment. From her pain, sorrow, sighing have fled away. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin that they may have committed in word, deed, or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant. So Christ our God, and to you we give glory together with your beginningless Father and your all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our beloved brothers and sisters, ever to be blessed and to ever be remembered. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure, all-immaculate Holy Mother, of the power and the precious and life-giving cross, of the protection of the honorable abideless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and for the holy glorious praiseworthy apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Stephen the proto-martyr and archdeacon, of our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we celebrate, of the holy righteous answer, Lord Joachim and Anna, and of all of the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect you all the days of your lives.
Good morning, everyone. Please be seated for a few announcements. As you see in your programs, we have the calendar of events, and the one, uh, there's a few things that we would like to highlight. And I'm going to have John give an announcement as well on behalf of the choir and one of their programs that they're going to be making this coming holiday season. And so this weekend, we have a really great blessing. Every year, our youth group, our Goya, our middle school and high school age children, they host a volleyball tournament within our local community, and we invite all of the different parishes. And we have parishes even coming all the way from Orlando um, to be able to join us this coming weekend. So just as a forewarning, there will be unfamiliar faces. One. Two. It will be a little bit more packed than usual. So if you are someone who sits in the same exact spot every single Sunday, I advise you, for your, the sake of your butt imprint that has been on this pew for however many years, to be here early. Because we do have all of our kids coming, and their parents for that matter, as we're going to have an award ceremony and luncheon next door in our fellowship hall next Sunday. We ask, of course, and invite you all to join us next Sunday. Uh, next Sunday, of course, for liturgy, but most importantly, also for our luncheon. It'll be $10 to be able to participate within the luncheon and to receive food, um, and then also be there for the awards portion of the ceremony. All of the events will be on Saturday. Another thing that I would like to, to ask is if there's anyone who is willing to volunteer, whether it be here on our campus or also at Walter Fuller, which is the recreational center where the competition will be. We have meals, we have to clean, we have plenty of things to do. Um, please contact Sula Horaeus to be able to coordinate how you can volunteer in the different places throughout that weekend, whether it be on Saturday or on Sunday for our luncheon. With that being said, um, we hope that you can join us again. And John, if you may please come forth to make your announcement. Good morning. on the Soleil, like right there. Thank you, John. Thank you. May everyone have a blessed week, and may God bless you all.